internet is full of interesting things and look we're all sort of starving for some nintendo news you know news about new things rather than old we obviously recently had all the mario 10 day stuff happen and there was some new news in there about a mario or at least mario related movie but we don't really have any new stuff for games. We got some release dates for the stuff that was announced last year, but where's the new? Well, probably in a future Nintendo Direct, but what about Nintendo's next platform, right? All the news really died down on that until just now. Something very interesting occurred that I wanna make sure we cover and talk about. And for full transparency, this is something that I have verified independently did actually happen. It is possible the literal name of Nintendo Switch 2 might have been leaked accidentally on purpose, I don't know, by YouTube themselves. Why would YouTube even know the name? I don't know. But that doesn't really matter because we just have to sit here and present the evidence. Here's a post over on the Nintendo Switch Reddit from a few days ago. It said, I just got this really weird questionnaire when trying to watch a video. It says, what on earth is Switch Attach? I'm imagining this is either a spelling error or a typo of some kind. Well, what on earth is this in reference to? And if it's just supposed to be a Switch, aside from the Joy-Cons, this doesn't make any sense. Now, let's blow this up. You can see this was a mobile, and <laughs> turns out I got the exact same mobile survey. So, quite interesting, the survey is going around. It says, which of these gaming products would you consider buying? And it says PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, or Switch Attach. Now, again, Nintendo Switch 2 has always been just a placeholder name and not the actual name of the system and would attach be inferring that you could attach other accessories besides Joy-Cons. I think that is at least a possibility, at least worth thinking about. But we also need to make sure that we provide some context to this because YouTube does these surveys all the time and how much do they matter? How factual are they? Well, of course, sometimes these surveys are for factual things, but sometimes they're not and this is where we head on over to the gaming leaks and reddit subreddit and over here the gaming leaks and rumors subreddit i guess i should say where they also talked about this and i want to get into the comment section on here because they provide information of that might be uh, you know pertain to this at least so like they said definitely sounds like a possible name for the next switch console my google search didn't find any apparent uses of the term including any fake console mocks up or incidental pairings uh, but as you go down here, like, you know, the user, it says the user is Zach, the person explained in the comments, that it's probably just a made up suggestion. Usually they do that sort of thing for marketing research. Fake brand names tend to pop up on YouTube surveys. So I don't think that's the official name. Now, I haven't really been able to verify that fake brand names appear on YouTube surveys, but that is a thing people are saying. Other people saying that, you know, until it's official news, I tend to call the successor the switcheroo. It says probably fake, but that's just a terrible name, just an abysmal thing to call your product. Downright dog shit nomenclature. If you have the attached theming, the switch connect or the switch snap are better options. Yada, yada, yada. That's just obviously people giving their opinions. They're doubling down on the Wii U's. This is a new console, a ridiculously overpriced accessory awful name if their next console is a new switch i think they should steer away from using the switch name to avoid another wii u situation etc 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 you can see all of these things going on just all over the internet now remember it does still use the term switch so what i think is interesting is that they would be sticking with the nintendo switch branding if this is the name just entertaining this for a moment and using the word attach would indicate well there must be some new attaching functionality now we've talked in the past so there have been patents around nintendo surrounding things like maybe an attachable second screen so you can attach a second screen to it give yourself a clamshell design if you really want uh, maybe they're as i said going to have more than just joy cons that can attach to the sides maybe there'll be other accessories i don't really like the switch attach name of course i do think nintendo switch 2 with an attachment like function can just be an advertised feature of it just like you have new iphones that stick with the numbers but then have all these other new features in addition to i don't like the name switch attach so part of me is also trying to dismiss this because i just don't think it's a good name also i just don't know why youtube would even know the name of the system unless nintendo had already talked to people at youtube now to be fair and we do need to be clear here nintendo does use google services behind the scene they use their servers with their online stuff so i guess there is a thought that maybe in testing this new system of google servers 
Google might have become aware of the name, but then would the name really leak out in this way? That just feels like to me something that wouldn't happen. Chances are this is just someone at YouTube's kind of shot in the dark at the name uh, because everyone's using Nintendo Switch 2. We want to use something unique and maybe that unique thing gets headlines and maybe this is just what they intended this entire time. I don't really know. So you guys can let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. I just wanted to bring your attention to this because I do find this to at least be interesting, but maybe not wholly that tangible. Then again, I have seen this survey myself. It is a real survey being ran by YouTube. What do they know? I don't know. So let me know your thoughts on this thing. Do you think this might actually be the name? And why do you think they're even doing this survey? Kind of weird, right? I don't know. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.